Hello and welcome back. Today I am going to review a gadget that was invented by somebody from Southern Thailand and I'm sure a lot of you are already waiting for this. I'm going to review this crema valve which was invented specially to generate crema when you brew using your regular mocha pots. For this experiment today we're going to use three different types of mocha pots just to make sure that it really works or not. This is a regular mocha pot mocha express, this is a rainbow mocha pot and this is a generic mocha pot. They are all three cup. The one that invented this crema valve said that it is most effective for three cup mocha pots although I have tried it with six cup and it works equally well but then of course we have to follow what the inventor says but for now they're all three cups and then we are going to see whether or how good it works in terms of the texture of the coffee that's brewed from the mocha pots using this crema valve and also the resulting taste. For this experiment I'm going to use my blends here which is medium roast and uh, I have here three cups which is exactly the same weight. This is medium to fine grind because it's a medium roast coffee bean. So I'm using medium to fine grind coffee and this is 16 grams. Now if I'm making it hot coffee, I normally use 16 grams and if it's iced coffee, I make the more 18 grams because you need it to be more concentrated and stronger. So they're all 16 grams of medium to fine grind coffee using my medium roast blend and then we are going to use exactly the same amount of water. For the water, I'm going to use 4 ounces or just slightly below the pressure valve and I'm going to use warm water. I don't use boiling water, I use warm water. I'm going to use a hot plate here preheat it so that it is very hot when I put my mocha pot on there and then after I put my mocha pot there I wait for about I time it this is all ceremonial I time it for about a minute and after a minute I reduce the heat so we're going to use exactly the same procedure for all of them and let's see what is the result or is there any difference using the crema valve for different types of mocha pots so how does the crema valve work well First is you have to take off the rubber gasket. I use a toothpick to take it off so that it's not very abrasive, it's very easy to take off. Okay, so take off the filter plate as well. This is the crema valve and what you do is you put it in here. Now with the generic mocha pot it will go a little bit deeper because the, the stem is a bit deeper than a regular mocha express and then you put your filter plate back on and the rubber get gasket here and then you brew as your normal brewing process. Okay, so now I have my crema valve in the generic mocha pot and I have already put them in each one of these two mocha pots. Okay, let's start with this mocha express. So I'm going to put 4 ounces or 120 ml of hot water but not boiling just to make sure they're all even I'm going to measure it so that's four ounces of hot water in there and then I'm going to fill my basket with my coffee so I'm just going to use a dosing funnel here and put everything in here okay so what I normally do is I just make sure all my ground coffee are there so I just level it there make sure is evenly distributed in my filtered basket and then any excess let's just put them all back there and then I kind of like leave a little bit of a hill in the middle but make sure that the sides are clear okay now put it there on the boiler and now we are going to lock our pot on make sure that it is secured tightly and now to put it on my hot plate and once I put it on the hot plate, what I'm going to do is to set my alarm to one minute and then after a minute, I'm going to reduce the heat. But don't forget that the hot plate is already very hot, preheated. So I'm going to prepare my cup here and let's see how it looks like. The coffee should start to come out into the pot within 3-4 to four minutes for a 3 cup mocha pot. Any faster and the coffee would taste sour. I 
As you can see, there is what I would call a real crema flowing into the pot. It is rather slow, but steady. The exact time to pour is also critical here. I tend to pour when the coffee starts blonding or lighter in color. This time, I'm going to wait until all the water has come up to the pot. Now on this one, there was a beautiful crema whilst brewing, but it's diluted when poured out. For my second brew, I am going to once again preheat my hot plate. And then we are going to use this rainbow mocha. So I already have my crema valve in there. So with my rainbow mocha, it came up with beautiful crema there. Okay, so see that beautiful crema? Absolutely a lot of difference here using that crema valve. So I'm going to put this here. For our final one, I'm going to use my generic mocha pot. So the same procedure. There you go. I would say it does work with a generic mocha pot here using my regular brewing process. Well, what happened is the first time I did it, it's just a little bit of crema and then when I poured it into my cup, not a lot of crema on there. But when I used my second one, it generated better crema. Well, it could be because it's, this one is a little bit deeper than the Mocha Express. And also, it also depends on the heat that you used. But when I used my third one, which is I suppose third time lucky, and using a generic mocha pot, it generated beautiful crema. So I would say the result is not miraculous. It's not immediately evident. You might have to keep trying it. I mean, don't expect that it will work immediately the first time that you used it. Maybe you have to do a little bit of trial and error. It also depends on the grind of your coffee, the amount of coffee that you put in your filter basket, the temperature of the water, and also the heat that you use for your gas burner or your electric hot plate. But I would say overall, I mean, I have done this a few times and most of the times I have generated a beautiful crema. And what is so special about it, even when you use a fine grind coffee, normally if you don't use any AeroPress filter paper on the mocha pot, the sediment goes up to your brew. But with this crema valve, it actually gives you a very, very clean brew. Now let's look at the taste. Okay, I'm just going to try each one of them anyway just to see whether there's any difference at all. This one, this is using the rainbow, generated such a beautiful crema there. 
and the taste of the coffee is just right. This is without any water or milk. There's no sour taste, no bitterness, and I think the texture is also beautiful. And now, for the one using my generic mocha pot, it looks absolutely creamy and thick for some reason because of the beautiful crema that was generated. And the taste, I would say, um, using a generic one and uh, an original Bialetti, this is a little bit more sour. I think that, as I had mentioned before in my experiments, that when you use a generic mocha pot, the tendency is the taste is not as smooth. But when you put milk and ice into this, it should be perfect. And I would say it is slightly better than what I normally brew without the crema valve. And uh, for the final one, which was actually my first brew, um, I didn't generate as much crema as I wanted to. Mm. But what do you know? It actually has the best taste. Wow. Mm. So in terms of the taste of the coffee, would I say that the crema valve give a difference in taste? I would simply say that the texture is better and the taste of the coffee is a bit stronger. I suppose it is because of the flow of the coffee is a little bit more regulated. In terms of the way they look, of course they look better because of the crema on top. So once again, if you do get a chance to try this crema ball, do not be alarmed if the first time you use it, it doesn't work as what you see here on YouTube. So yes, I would say go ahead and give it a try and then let the guy that invented this crema valve know how you feel and if you have any questions I'm sure you can send the questions to him. These valves are handmade so it might seem a bit pricey for such a small add-on. One thing is for sure you get a better tasting brew, espresso-like look and feel and most importantly you get the satisfaction of seeing a lot of crema flowing out of these magic pots. If you are using a bricka, you probably don't need this, but sometimes a bricka is also not the real crema that comes up there. With this one, I would say the taste is more concentrated. But then again, um, I would suggest that if you do get a chance to get this crema valve, you don't change your process unless you are going to, say, to follow the process which I showed you here today. If you are using the proper way of brewing your coffee using the mocha pot, and let's just say you follow the method from James Hoffman's um, Ultimate Mocha Pot Guide with a little bit of the chow technique, which is what you do is you really fill up your filter bas basket with coffee and then you gather all the, co the grind coffee into the middle, so making sure that the sides of your filter basket are clean. And then I think that's all that I would say would be the variation to what was indicated in the Ultimate Mocha Pot Guide by James Hoffman. Another thing that I realized is that using hot water and um, room temperature water, they're equally good. It's just that when you adjust the heat temperature of your gas stove or your gas burner, you make it faster if you're using hot water. But if you're using cold water, you might have to wait for at least two or three minutes before you reduce the heat. So that's all I would like to share with you today. This is just a very honest review. As you can see, I didn't quite make it the first time, but the next two are perfect. And yes, I have used this many times. So if you have any questions, do let me know, comment below. I'll see you again for more of these reviews. In the meantime, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Take care, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.